All right, so in this video, you're going to be checking out the Light Radio 2 SE upgrade board for your Light Radio. And I already did a video on the Light Radio 2 SE Express LRS Edition. It's this one here. So I'll link that video in the description if you want to check it out. But if you have an older Light Radio 2, the, either the um, SE with the USB C port or the original with the micro USB port, this board should work for you, although if you have the one with the micro USB port um, there's probably going to be some mods you're going to have to do. I'll explain that here because that's the one I'm going to be demonstrating in this video. If you have the uh, one with the USB-C port, this should be a very simple swap-in. Uh, the boards are the same size and you just basically unplug everything and replug everything and everything should just uh, swap over to the new version but I'll talk about that um, a little bit later in the video. Um, again, this should just be a, a board swap. Uh, it already has the 1S battery in there and the proper hole for the USB-C port, so it shouldn't be an issue. For the ones with the micro USB port, here's a, so this is an Eachine branded light radio. Uh, I believe there's some other manufacturers out there or other companies that rebrand this radio and sell it under their own brand but they're all essentially the same but the original one has the micro USB port you can see it's smaller than a USB-C port so we'll have to probably cut some of this plastic out of here and in addition this one has the plug for the 2S battery of course that's on the board which is going to get swapped out and you're going to need to source some sort of a 1S battery because the battery that's in here is a 2S battery and uh, you, you could convert this into a 1S battery with two cells in, instead of the two cells being in series like this uh, as a 2S battery. You can rewire this as a 1S battery in parallel. And I did something like that here. I'll just show you what it looks like. It's, it's beyond the scope of this video, so I don't want to really cover this, but... Um, Basically, I wired two 1S batteries in parallel here, and the plug you're going to need here is this, uh, I think this is a pH 1.25 millimeter connector. And so I was thinking I was going to use this. This is two 500 milliamp hour cells. Um, but I am actually going to go on a bit of a tangent. I pulled this battery out of uh, this radio here that I'm not going to use anymore. This is the Radio Link. T8S, you can see the gimbals and everything are gone. I took the battery out of it, and inside here it has a 900 milliamp hour 1S battery, and happens to have the same plug, which is perfect. That's going to go inside there instead of the 2S battery, so I'm going to use that, and then I'm going to try and swap the gimbals because I think these feel nicer to me. So they pull these out. It's going to re require some. Uh, redoing of these connectors here because this is a six pin connector of the two potentiometers on each axis into one plug and I to split them into two plugs because that's how they're uh, wired up in the light radio too. But to get inside the radio pretty easy uh, obviously you take the battery cover off you can take out the battery there's going to be eight, eight screws so two here two two and two so eight, ba eight screws total, pull those all off, and the back cover just comes out. This one has the uh, weights in there, which actually makes it feel a little bit nicer. I'm actually going to add a little bit of foam inside here to make the radio not make, it sometimes makes uh, some kind of a hollow sounds, especially when you hit the gimbals really hard, like that. So I'm gonna put some foam in here as well. I'm gonna sort of make this radio a little bit nicer. But to get the board out, pretty easy. Uh, there's a screw here, one here, one here, and one here. I think it's only four that you need to worry about. And then you want to unplug um, all four switches. These are just on these little connectors here, and then all uh, four connectors for the gimbals. And that ought to do it, and it should just pop right out. And you want to make sure you pop off the UFL antenna here and not break the connector. You just use this little patch antenna here. It's, this is where you want to point the antenna 
at your drone. Okay, so this board has a speaker soldered onto it uh, through this wire and it's glued into the front casing. The new one has the speaker soldered onto the board itself. So we're gonna have to remove that. Okay, so that speaker looks like it's glued in pretty good. So I'm just gonna, I just cut the wire off. And this is what the old board looks like. It's got a lot more electronics and a lot heavier compared to the uh, Express LRS edition. Much more uh, lightweight and well, basically not much components here for this radio. Anyway, so I'm able to get the board in and I think it's because the uh, USB port's a little bit further back, but you can see that the connector's wider than that hole. So if you try and uh, plug in something, you're not gonna be able to. So I'm gonna have to uh, dremel that out. Okay, so I just used like a file to widen up the hole a little bit and I think that's gonna be good enough to um, have clearance for the USB plug. And it looks like that should be good enough. Yeah, I just tested it with a plug and that works. It looks pretty good. All right, so I went ahead and just plugged everything in. Everything is nicely labeled. Uh, you should be able to know where everything goes. Uh, the potentiometer here that's actually moving. So you can see that's moving there. That's the throttle. This here is the rudder. So throttle, rudder, plug this in in the same spots. And aileron is this one here, and that's plugged in over there, and this is the elevator, which is the up and down. So even though this is moving, the potentiometer is actually right there. And that's what you're gonna be plugging in, and of course the switches are all labeled. And uh, I forgot to mention that uh, you gotta make sure you plug in your UFL connector for the patch antenna in the front before you screw in the board, otherwise you gotta redo that. And then you just plug in the battery here. And I just uh, stuck mine to the back here. So you wanna make sure that whatever battery you use, if you're doing the conversion with the, for the first version, the micro USB port, the battery has to have this um, over voltage protection circuit. Not all these 1S batteries do. And so you wanna be looking for that. That makes sure that, let's make sure that the battery doesn't get overcharged because I think the charging circuit on this, board is a pretty simple one and I, if you don't have that over over voltage protection circuit there it won't stop the um, charger from uh, overcharging the battery so be careful of that so just plug that in and then put the two halves together and screw everything together and that's going to be it um, i'm going to have a separate video later on how to update the firmware on this because the latest version uh, the configurator which is now version 1.0.0 uh, allows you to set the binding phrase on here so that you can match your receivers and I've been waiting for that so I'll have a separate video on that one so stay tuned for that. That's going to do it for this one. I'll talk to you guys later.